Hello and welcome to the 12th episode of The Hawk Nest. I'm Dylan Clement. And I'm Emery Russell. Congratulations to the Big Blue Machine members who participated in the ATSSB area competition. Stephen Mathern, Connor Trahan, David Mathern, Adam Burrell, Jacob Cruz, Landon Maytag, and Emma Goble qualified for area. Yearbook staff is selling yearbooks for $65 until December 31st. After that, they will be $70. The yearbook staff will be in the Commons next week during lunch selling the books. HJ's basketball season is in full swing and the soccer season is just beginning. Here's Casey with the details. Thanks guys. Last Tuesday, the 76ers took on the Nuggets and came out with a win 97 to 92. The Heat also took on the Hawks in a game that went to overtime. However, the Heat went in a 16-0 run, taking home the win 135 to 121. The Trailblazers also beat the Knicks 115 to 87 and the Hornets beat the Wizards 114 to 107. Last weekend, the boys varsity basketball team traveled to Aransas Pass for the annual tournament where they ended up going 3-2. and two. The boys and girls also had games last Tuesday night. The boys played Port Arthur Memorial. They fought hard but came up short 67-64. to 64. The girls played Klein Forest and took on the W 64-20. to 20. Great job Hawks and back to you guys. Today, Friday and Saturday, our girls JV basketball team will compete in a tournament at Combs Neal and on Friday at 4.30 the girls basketball will play at Channel View. Then on Tuesday the boys basketball will host Broadus at 4.30 while the girls basketball hosts Hampshire Finette and the girls soccer plays in Nederland at 5 o'clock. On January 8th, seniors will be taking cap and gown and drape and tux photos. That will be the Wednesday we get back from Christmas break. Look for the date paper this week. On Saturday, the high school band will have TMEA auditions at Lumberton. Here's Dylan and Ashton with the details. The Big Blue Machine is sending some students to the TMEA competition this weekend. We interviewed some of those students in order to find out what they thought they were going to gain from going to this competition. Well, I think that this, this um, competition is definitely going to help me see a lot of new faces and what I actually have to go up against in the long run because this competition it's bringing in the best of the best it's going to basically simulate what i'm going to have to go through in like college and professional music band auditions and the like well team ea is like the harder of the two competitions that we can do as like solo band musicians and the music is much harder than the one that you know everybody else does and i think that you know you really have to prepare and plan out and practice a lot more than you would with the other competitions. And already, I haven't even been to the competition yet, and I know that my skill level has increased since I've like signed up for Team EA because I've been practicing so much. And I know the music, and I'm ready, and I'm excited to do it and meet new people and hopefully go somewhere with it. We wish everyone going to the competition good luck. The Sour Lake Chamber of Commerce Parade is this weekend. Here's Lucas with more. Every year, Sour Lake hosts the annual Christmas in the park for the community. The Christmas parade will take place in Lions Park. It all starts at 8 a.m. to have breakfast with Santa at Goody's Cafe till 10 a.m. The activities for kids begin at 3 to 7. At 4.30, the Hardin Jefferson Big Blue Machine performs a special concert. At 7, the parade starts where there will be candy thrown. We talked to Mr. Westbrook about the parade and the big blue machine. Yeah, we're very excited for the parade. We didn't get to do it last year because it got rained out. But uh, we're, we're, we're excited because we get to put all kinds of battery packed lights on and decorate up with their hats, their Santa hats and elf hats and reindeer uh, antlers and, and have a fun time in the parade. Started working on the music. Of course, the, the, we'll be playing it during the parade route, and they have to have it memorized. And uh, so we've already started working on that music and, and getting it ready to go. And I'm sure they've already started stockpiling their batteries and their uh, light uh, strings so that they can decorate up for the parade. Oh, we will be marching. Uh, well, I think we're going to have a golf cart with some lights uh, decorated up, and we're going to have some of the middle school kids going with us and throwing candy out, but we definitely, we do not ride on this on this parade. We will be marching and, uh, and playing and performing for the community. So we're looking forward to it. Make sure to come down and have a festive fun time. For more information, please contact Clarence Russell. Before Thanksgiving break, the art club painted the Sour Lake Public Library. Here's Casey with more. Before the break, Miss Ochoa and her art club painted windows at the Sour Lake Library. I interviewed Miss Ochoa for more information. Okay, um, 
about five weeks ago, the librarian from the Sour Lake Library called and uh, the Sour Lake Public Library called and asked if we could uh, would be willing to uh, paint their windows. And so I said, sure, but it would be so cool because that's our first public display. And so that's out, not, not inside the schools, but outside in the world, the real, real world of non-school. And, uh, and so they did. And so we got her, we told her to, to if she would buy the, uh, the supplies that we would come up there. So I gave her a list of supplies and she went and got all the paint. And, um, and we just went up there. It took us, uh, we went over there Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday or Friday after school for about two hours after school and then I went up on Monday that we were off a break and touched it up and finished it up and get the final details and stuff and it came out really really cool we wanted to make sure that it was a theme for a library and the uh, one panel is Christmas it has a Christmas tree on it but we're going to scrub that off after Christmas and then add another book character. This has been Casey Walker with the Hawk's Nest. Hello, my name is Orlando Medina, your meteorologist. So I'm going to tell you about our weather forecast. So for tomorrow, we're going to have drier weather, Friday the same, and then Saturday, drier weather, Sunday uh, the, uh, during the day and through the afternoon, we're going to have the, the sunny skies, but when we get to dark, we're gonna have the, uh, the, the rain chances, we're gonna have a chance of rain, and then into Monday morning with our next cold front. Tuesday, uh, we're gonna have drier weather, and that's our weather report for today. I'm Ashton Lunsford, and this is Teacher Moments. Ms. Key, what is your most memorable moment in your teaching career? Uh, well, I think that it would have to be on uh, September 11th. Uh, it was my first year of teaching, 2001, and um, I had a, quite a few foreign exchange students, and uh, it was very upsetting to them to experience that so far away from home. So uh, we spent a lot of time working with them, and, and it was a very bonding experience for all of us. So I think that was the most profound moment that I've ever had teaching. Thank you. Ms. Ochoa, what is your most memorable moment in your teaching career? Um, one, of, one of my mom, most memorable moments in my teaching career is uh, last year when um, one of my art, three, art two students asked, hey, can we paint the windows for uh, the school? And I said, well, uh, it kind of freaked me out because I'm thinking, okay, we're going to make a big mess. We're going to ruin the floor. We're going to ruin everything. But I went ahead and asked, and uh, Mr. Brown said, sure, go ahead. We got it okayed. And, um, and ever since then, we've been painting windows from last year, and then we got we painted two places this year that are out in the public, and um, we have another thing to paint too. And we're going to finish paint. We're going to paint the, put some paint on the windows here at the school this week. Um, but the memorable moment is that whenever students ask me, "Can I?" Mm -hmm. and I sit there and I think, "Oh no, can we?" And so I start running over all the things that could possibly go wrong. But usually they're pretty right. And then usually when I say, okay, let's just try it, and then it usually comes out good. Thank you. All right. Ms. Phelps, what is your most memorable moment in your teaching career? One of my most memorable moments is when I first became a teacher, I had a student that I had known all his life. And uh, when the Stuco was helping out, he came in and brought a bunch of his buddies to help out. And I got to know them very well. And four years later, when they graduated from high school, I couldn't, as soon as they walked across the stage and they let the teachers go, I hung up my gown, I was in my car, and I was halfway home when my daughter called and said, where are you? And I said, I can't be here. It upset me too much. So I really miss them. Thank you. Thank you. This is Alexis Benoit interviewing Maddie Wallace for Senior Spotlight. Maddie, what will you be doing after high school? Uh, I plan to attend Texas State and study in psychology. What advice would you give to the freshmen of HJ? Um, maybe stand up for yourself a little more. Don't take everything too seriously, except for school. Yeah, sure. What has been your best memory of school so far over the past three years? Um, just probably getting to cheer at all of the HJ football games, whether win or lose. It's still so fun and a treat. 
to be able to cheer with all the people I love. <laughs> You've been a cheerleader since seventh grade and you're a state competitor in golf. How has it made your high school experience different? Well, it's made me miss a lot of school, to say the least, but I've made a lot of great friends and friends for life, I think. What has been your most embarrassing memory of high school? Did you learn anything from it? Um, I can't say I learned much from it, but freshman year I was cheering in a pep rally and I went to kick and I kind of fell onto my butt and all the seniors laughed at me and I still can't live it down. <laughs> what will you miss about high school? Um, probably all my friends. I've made a lot of friends are underclassmen this year and now I'm really sad I have to leave them. <laughs> Describe your senior year in just three words. It's almost over. <laughs> this has been Alexis Bimwell with Maddie Wallace for Senior Spotlight. What Bing Crosby song is the best-selling single of all time? A. Joy to the World B. White Christmas C. Silent Night D. Jingle Bells Hmm. Well, that's an interesting question. Now, I've thought about this previously. I believe that coyotes Although they are vicious creatures, they don't know quite how to hunt in packs. And so due to this fact, I think that I'll be able to take on the coyotes first with fists. I feel like they'll go one on one. So taking on a coyote with a fist, I could use him as a weapon. And I could use that coyote's teeth as well as his, you know, coyote parts and destroy all of the other coyotes. And so I feel like until that coyote wore down, I could continue to take on coyotes, which a rough estimate, if you're asking, would probably be 20 coyotes. What Bing Crosby song is the best-selling single of all time? The answer is B, White Christmas. Hello everybody, I am your host, Hingle McCringleberry. Welcome to the second edition of Dad Jokes. Let's introduce our guest, Colin Square. Best of luck, buddy. You too. Why can't you hear a pterodactyl in the bathroom? <laughs> because it has silent pee. <laughs> the punchline sounded better. Oh, or the other part. How do you call a dog with no legs? It doesn't matter, it's not going to come up to you. Women only call me ugly until they found out how much money I make. Then they can call me ugly and poor. <laughs> what did the guy say to the man in the wheelchair that stole his camo jacket? You can hide, but you can't run. That's not it. <laughs> I tried to catch some fog yesterday. I missed. <laughs> Yeah. What runs around a football fence? I literally just gave you the answer. <laughs> <laughs> On which side do the chickens have the most feathers? The outside. How do you find Will Smith in the snow? Just look for the fresh pants. I have six eyes, two mouths, and three ears. What am I? Ugly. <laughs> <laughs> You know what they say about cliffhangers, right? Mm. <laughs> Why do you never see elephants hiding in trees? I don't know how to climb trees. Dude, it's hanging with his eye. Yeah. Our word of the week is toboggan, which means a sled used for sliding downhill over snow. That's all for today, and remember, it's, it's a, a great, great day, day to, to be a hawk. hawk.
Rhodes. Crazy. I've never been to anger before.